What happens when you're a single mom of two rambunctious boys and your parents continue to enable you and completely fund your life even though you've completely checked out and never left home? Meet Kristen. You did, you recorded over it. Clifford. And she's as lazy as her face. <laughs> what is poppin' boys and girls? Appreciate you pulling up. We got a lot to unpack today. It's Prof here. Now we've covered a couple of these on the channel before just because I've been binge watching them, <laughs> but this is the first. The imperfect combination of lack of communication and lack of accountability. Hey, you gave birth to a couple of kids and you're like, hold on a minute, I wanna have a lay in. No, that's done, girl, that's done. Pull your ass in there and get doing what you should be doing. And I just have to talk about it. Leave a like if you do, dislike if you don't, but if you don't, just make sure you let me know why down in the comments below so I can entertain y'all better. And if you think I'm gonna take it easy, you must be new here. But if you're new here, there's a little red button down below. Click it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, me too. Told you. I'm feeling defeated, I'm finding my meaning. You leave me hanging, make sure you don't need me. Don't interrupt me, I'm eating. They notice me now, cause they know that I'm dope. You could put it in a needle. So we meet Kristen and both of her parents. Then we have the boys, Jordan and Jaden, who are six and four. Now Kristen has roped her parents into this when they're supposed to be relaxing in their twilight years, not chasing after her children. And right away, you can tell that Kristen's self-awareness is just as broken as her reasoning. Hard to be just the mom. I don't have anybody to back me up. Don't you live at home? Haven't you always lived at home, even before the boys were born? Hmm, thought so. I can't help but think of Kevin Hart when she's trying to explain her situation and while she's still at home. I live at home with my parents, and because of my financial situation, I am not able to move out on my own right now. The way my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a check-in in the savings, but all the money is in my savings, so I got to switch it to my check-in, but it's going to take three business days. With the way the world is going, you would think at the least you would have some respect, and at best, you should have some adoration for the people who continuously fund your life, keep a roof over your hand, and raise your children. But I don't respect my mom. I don't respect the way that she parents my boy. Yeah, then why don't you parent them? The grandparents are pleading for help, so it's time for Joe to step in. So Joe does her observation, and Kristen isn't home yet, so she's working, and Grandma's left taking care of these two young boys, and they are fucking terrors. <laughs> Joe even has to step in early. She's standing over them like she's repping a UFC match, UFC 34. Jason, you're choking him. No, that's not part of the wrestling. There's clearly no rules in this house. Where is the supervision? Oh yeah, our grandparents are really old. Shouldn't be chasing after toddlers. That's crazy. Joe asked the grandparents how their relationship is with Kristen, and their answer is nothing short of heartbreaking. Anytime I, her and I get into it, big. Mm -hmm. Um, she'll say, when I move out of here, you will never see these kids. We're two minutes into the segment. We are just putting the mayo on the bread. We are just getting started. She does nothing in the house. She does absolutely nothing. Does she, she pay what we call rent? No. Truthfully, though, I'm looking at the grandparents, too. This is your fault. This is what happens when you enable your kids your whole life and don't show them any discipline or give them any boundaries. Kristen has always had a hard time being grateful. From minor little things to the major things. We basically provide everything for her. They provide everything for her and raise her children. I don't think I've ever seen a more ungrateful person. But of course, Kristen plays the victim to Joe. I don't think that she thinks I'm a good mom. But I'm gonna let Joe handle this one. You do when you're here, like being that mom that you feel that you are. I always give him a bath, I always get him ready for bed, you know, stuff like that. Wait. You were asked about the qualities that make you a good mom and the best you could come up with was bath and bed? Joe's face describes my feelings entirely right now. You are 25 with two kids, have not or ever paid rent in your parents' house, and the second that you get home, you decide to run away from responsibility? You said it yourself. To get away from it, I just come up here so I don't have to hear it. What part of the game is this? Joe doesn't pull any punches though. So how difficult is it actually having this conversation with me? It's hard. Because you know that you're not being truthful, or...? No, I... Get a grip on reality. I'm... Exactly, y'all hear that? Didn't think so. Crickets. I swear, whenever we go over these, the parents always forget that they're the adult. Fast forward a little bit, and Grandma and Kristen are in disagreement about the boys having candy. And when Mom says no, Jordan is not happy. Mom said no. Thank you, idiot! Oh, nah, that's why you ain't getting any candy. Boy walks upstairs with no regard to anything. 
Now you get another minute. Oh, the words this boy's father. But Joe gets to the root of the problem, which is mom and grandma not being on the same page since they are the primary caregiver since grandpa's gone all day at work. And there should be some kind of schedule for these two young boys, right? At least a time where you know that they can and can't have candy, right? <laughs> the boys start arguing over computer games and they are so rude to their grandpa too. I could not believe the disrespect to grandpa. These kids have learned it from somewhere. That's just the truth. So Joe confronts Kristen about this, and Kristen gives zero fucks. I don't. I don't say thank you. I don't... I don't think about it. Kristen's just lazy. Got grandma on the floor picking up toys after the boys while you're on your phone or on the computer. And the worst part about it is when Joe asks Kristen why she isn't at least a little appreciative for the life that her mom and dad provide for her and her boys, if you thought Kristen had brain rot before... Where's the gratitude and the common courtesy with your parents? It's not there. But it's sit-down time, and Joe just gives it to her straight. Quite frankly, it's disgusting. You're Harold? 25? Seriously? 25 years old and the mother of two children, and yet you carry on like you're 12 yourself? God damn, Joe. You walk around feeling like you don't have to lift a finger or do anything. You pay no rent, and you're damn lucky that you're not out on the street having to do what 200,000 young mothers have to do every day. <laughs> the entire time Joe is speaking her piece with Kristen, her parents are just nodding along like, talk that shit. <laughs> Kristen starts crying and tries to play the victim card, but Joe counters with an accountability trap card. Like, grow up and do what you're supposed to do because nobody else wants to tell you. Your parents are too scared to tell you the truth in case you blackmail them that they won't get to see their kids. Tough, but fair. Anytime you have that echo chamber around you, it's never gonna help you get better. Everybody in my circle checks me when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, and I do the same. The only way to get out of a hole is to stop digging, but it always helps if someone takes the shovel from you. Joe moves on to talk about how the boys are disciplined and how the boys disrespect their grandparents. And I couldn't agree more. <laughs> but they had to have learned it from somewhere because kids soak up everything around them. I'm looking at you, Kristen. But I could never imagine because my grandpa was my boxing coach, but maybe that's just the fear talking. <laughs> but it made me respectful and grateful. Joe tries to rally the troops and even then, Kristen is just an unenthusiastic brat. Are we ready to do some hard work? Yeah. We're ready. All right, sorry, I didn't hear that. Yes. Sorry? Yes. yes. <laughs> right, okay. Your parents are all in. You can't even pretend? So as usual, Joe starts off with setting routine, but it starts off not so well when she asks who's gonna get the boys up and ready in the morning. And after the longest awkward silence ever, even Jordan is like, yeah. and it is clear that Kristen has absorbed absolutely zero of the information so far. <laughs> Joe is so quick to step in and Kristen thinks it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean, don't I? Does Joe look like she's playing? Who do you think should be doing it? Me, but I want to sleep too. Excuse me? <laughs> These are your kids, right? Mm hmm Where's your mommy, Jordan? <laughs> yeah. Mm, damn, Joe. So Joe pulls Kristen aside and Joe is furious. I couldn't believe this, mother. I was totally gobsmacked. I thought she was going to say something else for a second. Also, gobsmacked? I'm going to have to put that one in my back pocket. <laughs> You're lucky I don't kick it on the backside until you get in there and deal with it. Like, seriously? Okay. Come on. Yo, tell her, Joe. Kristen clearly isn't taking this seriously and probably can't even spell responsibility. So Joe decides to turn it up a notch. Oh, nobody handcuffed you, did they? I forced you to go out and have some wild sex somewhere and come home with a couple of kids. Let's be serious here. Ooh, I thought she was mad at Phil. Hey, you gave birth to a couple of kids and you're like, hold on a minute, I want to have a lay in. No, that's done, girl. That's done. Put your ass in there and get doing what you should be doing. It wipes the smile off her face so fast and she actually commits to the routine rather quickly. I just don't get how she hasn't heard that from her parents before, especially if that's all it took for her to lock in and really motivate her. Joe teaches the timeout technique we've covered before, but this boy is a handful. Number of escapes is crazy. But he gets his little brother to start cussing, so Kristen puts him straight to bed and he takes it right on the chin like a champ. <laughs> Imagine what these kids would be like when they start school because they've never had any structure in their lives before and then you push them into society and expecting them to function normal in structure is just maddening. Don't make your child society's problem. But Jordan makes sure Kristen gets her karma 
very quickly. Whoever is behind the camera is dead wrong because they saw the water, saw him pour the water, and didn't do nothing about it, and got a perfect shot for her to fall in it. <laughs> they knew what was coming. Joe sees Kristen obviously losing her cool and pulls her to the side to stop her from digging. Joe is the fucking go. Gives Kristen the strength to finish out the night strong, but, but Joe still feels that Kristen is ungrateful. And I couldn't agree more. She breaks out a new technique to show Kristen how fortunate she is to have parents that take care of her. So she brings Kristen to a homeless shelter and Kristen just doesn't get it. Wanted me to sit there and listen to what this lady had to say. I didn't know what the point was. And it's so gross, like it makes my skin crawl. Program? Sure. What was that truthful? No attitude. No attitude? You literally pulled out your phone while this lady was explaining the program to you on TV. It was really just to come here and for you to understand that even though you don't walk in somebody else's shoes, that you would at least be able to see how other people live. I am grateful for what I have. You don't act like it. You don't act like it at all. You don't. It annoyed me that she called me a spoiled brat. You are. I always had enough and I honestly don't blame her. But she gives Kristen a calendar to write down one thing that she's grateful for every day. And she writes the bare minimum but look at what an impact it has on her mom cry still makes me cry just to hear that Kristen is uh, aware and is thankful that small of an act of gratitude has such a big effect there is no way that you've ever expressed any type of love or adoration toward your parents in probably years <laughs> but this is the first time i've seen joe smile all episode but it's time for joe to take her leave and review the tape when she comes back and it doesn't take a genius to realize that kristen has made zero progress since joe's left lack of respect where does it come from because i, I i've got to be honest with you to sit and watch you speak to your parents like that appalls me she just has no respect but then she has the damn nerve to say that she still feels resentment toward her parents and she feels trapped like she wants to escape when you have had 25 years to to save up money and escape with no rent. Ah! But mom has something to say. I'm pretty angry. Right, okay. I'm pretty angry with Kristen. Right. Um, she hasn't stepped up the things that you had put in place for us. And the parents just start exposing her. I mean, the cameras do too, but you know what I mean. If the kids aren't being taken care of, then who's to do it? So mom gets up. See it fixes their breakfast, does their homework 90% no, of the time. And it's sad to see the boys continuously getting brushed off by Kristen when all they want to do is spend time with her, but she's too busy on her phone to really even participate. Mommy, can you come hit it with us? Mommy, can you come hit with us? You swing, and I'll watch. Hmm. Gotta wash our hands, let's go. Mommy, dude, as grandma, if Kristen even cares about her boys, and look at Kristen's face. No fucks given. I think Kristen cares about Kristen first. Ooh, damn. Honesty is the best policy. But Kristen knows this, and we've known that Kristen was ungrateful for 34 minutes, and Joe points that out too. It's hoping where this can move forward. You just gotta be having a look at yourselves first. She's talking to the group, but we all know who she's talking to. Kristen drops the bomb that she's moving out of state. Honestly, watching Grandma's face is so sad. This woman has given up so much and is left without even a consistent thank you. It costs zero dollars to be a nice person. But Joe actually gets her in her bag to get the ladies to communicate, and she starts to crack the code. I stepped back and, and didn't do as much as I should have. Mm -hmm. And the reasons why you chose not to do that? Being lazy. Whoa, was that accountability? And just when I thought we had lost hope, and even grandma opens up, it's nice to see something wholesome and end on a nice note after all the negativity. Even though I think Krista taking her boys to go and to live in Colorado with a long distance relationship boyfriend halfway across the country with no outlet or safety net is a terrible idea, but I'll leave that one to do. But what I'm gonna leave to y'all is to leave a like if you did, dislike if you didn't. If you didn't, just let me know why down in the comments below. I appreciate y'all pulling up and unpacking this with me today. It's, it's time you better I'm wake up. Ooh. And not a makeup you got on, baby. Don't cover up what you said to me, girl. I'm not trying to say that you, that you can be replaced, but I ain't trying to play with you, girl.